All right. Uh, next over at AndroidPolice.com, Google Authenticator gets its first update in years. Finally, lets you transfer accounts between devices uh, with an APK download. It also doesn't look so painfully 2017-ish now. At this stage, everybody knows that multi-factor authentication is super duper important, and most websites do have where you can scan a QR code into an app on your phone, and now you've got that uh, uh, one-time password that's being generated every 60 or 30 seconds on your phone. Everybody knows how important that is. And Google was one of the first to market with an authenticator app uh, that you can run right on your phone, and they did it for Android as well as iOS, and it was because they wanted MFA for Google services. But for me, it was always a showstopper that there was no way to move an authentication credential from one device to another. So, like when I had a, I had a Galaxy S7, I think, and then I, when I went to the Galaxy S8, when it exploded, you know, well, yeah. So when <laughs> I went to the bombs 8, until later, <laughs> there was no way to move your credentials over, and so I had to go to every site that I had loaded into the Google Authenticator and turn off MFA and turn it back on again to get new QR codes to scan them in. Well, at the time, I had like five accounts, and that was super annoying. Now I have like 50 accounts. So that's a showstopper. I haven't even dreamed of using the Google Authenticator since then. Uh, so it's nice to see that they have finally introduced that to allow you to move that from one phone to another. Enjoyed that segment? Check out the full playlist of all of the Technado with Don Bazet episodes right there. And make sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel for all of our videos. And tune in every Thursday morning for new episodes of Technado with Don Bazet.